I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father, I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel, who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are beginning the conversation of hearken, listen for the truth. Listen for the truth. This is a message to our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latin Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. This time of judgment upon the earth is the spirit of Satan's playground. This is a very, very hostile and dangerous place. And we as the Israelites need to be on guard. Let's start with this witchcraft that the devil, which means the deceiver, has started to roll out. And that witchcraft is, we are all in this together. That is a form of witchcraft. We are not all in this together. In the spirit, this is coming forth now because we are in the last times. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect again the elect are 12,000 men out of each of the 12 tribes of Israel equaling the 144 the 144,000 the reason this is the first scripture up is because on the Sabbath my brother Paul and I hold counsel and we give glory unto the Father and look at the judgments upon the earth and I also send videos to my brother, Paul. And there are videos surfacing now of quote unquote Christ walking in the clouds, God walking around in the clouds, but of course not portrayed as a dark skinned man. No, 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 no. <laughs> portrayed as an Edomite. But this is the technology that is available today showing great signs and wonders and we are not all in this together the other nations have their judgment coming to them as well as the stiff-necked two-third of the nation of israel but when the devil which is the deceiver brings forth this witchcraft of we are all in this together you must hearken you must listen for the truth so we are not all in this together. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 24. And we will go to the end of the verse. I am Yahweh, your most high power, which have separated you from other people. We are separate. We are separate. Verse 26. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, Yahweh, am holy and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou, thou being the nation of Israel, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh, thy most high power. Yahweh, thy most high power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We are not all in this together. We are not. And we must be sober and vigilant and hearken, listen for the truth. So, for our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel who may be returning to the truth, waking back up, their spirit quickened. What is the truth? The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. 
Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. And whose law is this? It is the law of Yahweh, the Most High Power, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Creator of all things, the Creator and Destroyer. Verse 151, Thou art near, O Yahweh, and all thy commandments are truth. The book of St. John, chapter 17, verse 17, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 1, O Yahweh, thou art my most high power. I will exalt thee. I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. So the Father has spoken unto the nation of Israel through the prophets, through the prophets. And what he has told us, what his counsels are, what his instructions are, what his commandments, statutes, and laws are, they are faithful. You can count on them. And they are the truth. The path that the Father has set forth for us is the truth. The words in this book are the truth. The prophecies in this book are the truth. So what's another truth? Well, let's look at the truth of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans. We are now currently at this moment serving out the last of our last captivity as punishment for turning our backs on the Father. And in truth, it wasn't until the 60s in Mystery Babylon, the so-called United States of America, that the Israelites were granted civil rights, meaning the right to not be treated like property or an animal. If you want to get to the bottom of what that is, you have the right to do some of the things we do in our kingdom. You will never have power here. Well, you go vote. You can go vote. It won't count. So what is the truth about us today as the nation of Israel? Hearken, listen for the truth. The book of the prophet Hosea, chapter 9, verse 17. My most high power will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. So the father said, I'm going to scatter you to the four corners of the earth. And there you will serve out captivity and you will have your land taken from you and you will have your children taken from you and you will have your animals and your crops taken from you. You will have your names stripped from you. You'll have your identity stripped from you. You will be at the bottom. My most high power will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him. We did not listen unto the truth and they shall be wanderers among the nations. That is who we are today. Wherever we are on the four corners of the earth, we're wandering around. No real power. Always in subjection to the devil. Always being oppressed. Always being taken advantage of. No, just, no true justice to be found. The second book of the prophet Esdras, chapter 16, verse 39. The books of Esdras can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the Bible. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. There are plagues to come upon the earth. They're actually here now. The plague of heat, the plague of famine, the plague of drought, the plague of fire, the plagues of madness, the plagues of pestilence and disease. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world, world meaning time frame, age, span of time, this current span of time of this last wicked kingdom and the world shall mourn people are mourning right now they're mourning the loss of their jobs of their homes of their savings account of their careers and of their might and privilege and sorrows shall come upon it on every side sorrows upon this world time frame age span of time on every side so let's just take these judgments of tornadoes happening in the deep south of mystery babylon here you are dealing with this covid 19 thing and everything that comes with it just like the rest of the earth is dealing with it 
Many people have lost their jobs. You have to stay at home. Your money's running out. Boom, there goes your house and your car. Just like that. Just like that. Now you have no home to stay in. You've got no money. And sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Verse 40. O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. We have to fight for this truth. We have to fight for what we know is true because it has been prophesied about. We have to fight to keep the truth that we have been given and not allow it to be taken away from us. While all of this judgment is going on, we must hold on to that truth and we must fight to get back into the kingdom. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. That's what we are, we're pilgrims. We are strangers in a foreign land. We are wanderers. We are strangers in a foreign land and we are on a pilgrimage. Our only job is to make it back home into the kingdom. And we have to hold this truth securely. And we have to keep this truth secure inside of our hearts, secure. Do not let the spirit of Satan in there. Do not let the devil in there to get it. And these attacks will come on all sides. Family members, loved ones, friends. They'll say, no, I saw, I saw Christ up in the sky. You're wrong. You Israelites are wrong. I saw it with my own eyes. I saw, uh, I saw, I saw sweet baby Jesus up in the sky. When the devil comes out with the witchcraft of we are all in this together, we must hearken. We must listen for the truth. And the truth is we are not all in this together because not everyone was on those slave ships. Not everyone's land was colonized. Not everyone was a slave. Not everyone has had to endure the shame that we have had to endure as a nation being called niggers and spicks and wetbacks and prairie niggers and immigrants and illegal aliens and criminals and dirty. So when you start to listen to people talk about what's going on today, if they're talking about how things are going to get back to normal soon, that the world, world meaning time frame, age span of time, is going to go back to normal, that is not the truth. That is not the truth. The curses are finally coming off of the nation of Israel and moving on to the other nations. As it is written. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 6. And Yahweh thy most high power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh thy most high power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live this is true today for the one third we love the most high we can't wait for the most high to send our king we can't wait to go home we love to worship the father we understand and know who yahweh is to us and who we are to him and we know why we are in this last captivity this last punishment Verse 7, And Yahweh thy most high power will put all these curses, all the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 to 68. And Yahweh thy most high power will put all these curses upon thine enemies, all the other nations that have come against us and oppressed us and loathed us and hated us and killed us. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. This is occurring today. And as this time truly is the spirit of Satan's playground, that spirit's going to be dropping down into a lot of people. People of your own nation are going to come to you and try and give you a philosophy or a doctrine or a belief system to get you through these uncertain times but if you hearken and listen for the truth you know what's coming you knew this was coming and you know we have to endure till the end of this until Yahweh comes with the heavenly host
Make no mistake about it, World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother, Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahawashai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahawashai is Lord, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world. Remember who you are and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.